Hello and welcome back to OAP Gaming and the Last Remnant Remastered 100% Completion Playthrough. In today's video we are just going to be continuing with the main story and hopefully completing some guild tasks as well. So, let's get on with it. So, on to Rebellion Castle, where Rush learns invocations. So again, the first thing I like to do. Observe my stats carefully before making take a choice. Take us off his combat art and just have him doing invocations. I don't want anybody else using herbs. Impressive, huh? I'm keeping Rush as combat. So I'm gonna knock his off. Again, I don't want anybody else but Rush using herbs and away we go do a bit of splinting i think <clears throat> again i will be avoiding all enemies wherever possible good we need some potions We need to slay a stone to open the door to the next area. As soon as that thing. Without the slayer stone, you will not be able to open this door. bit of gold at this stage of the game. And that door right in front of us is where we need to go, but before we do, we need to just nip in here for another treasure chest. Remember in the last video I said this is a guild task. There are 150 of these within the game. You don't need to open all of them, but I think if my memory serves, it's like 30, 50 and 80 for guilt tasks. So, as you see, 
Fates are nothing more than evil charms meant to add to the depravity of man. You may not see the effects now, but not far into the future, terrible disaster awaits. By then, it will be too late to change our sinful ways. Men are meant to work hard and make their own way. We must not accept the temptations of easy life that remnants provide. Yeah. Yeah. Stand up and fight! The first step is here. We will strike Athlum with the hammer of justice! See our allies here, dressed as Athlumian soldiers. They will infiltrate that city of sin and cause a disturbance. That will be our chance. Come, let us liberate the people from their chains. What the heck is this? Hmm, seems like an anti-remnant activist rally. Sounds more like anti-remnant terrorist activity to me. Whatever they're planning's gotta be dangerous. Who's there? <laughs> oh -ho! It seems we have guests! Lackeys of that magic-abusing Marquis of Athlum! Look closely at their faces, shining with depravity! Whoa! For it is too late for these unbelievers to be saved! Yet they can serve some purpose! A prelude to the cleansing of Athlum. We shall christen our movement with the blood of these servants of evil! This guy's psycho! Prepare yourselves! Ah, I suppose there's not we can do but fight. Now again, you don't have to talk to these NPCs, but I always talk to this one here. I don't know why, I just do. And then we 
teleport out of here. Right. Syndicate and anti remnant terrorists. Lovely. And to think, while we were fighting beastmen, those fiends were doing as they pleased. We are already looking into this, Lord David. You should not trouble yourself further. More importantly, we have learned of something else similarly troubling. Multiple sources have reported seeing a bright light flash across the sky. A flash. Every so often, remnants emit light. It's called luminescence. The light could have been luminescence from the Valeria heart, or the gay bulb reflected on the clouds. Ah, but the Valeria heart and the gay bulb are bound. They have not seen a luminescence in a long, long while. Then maybe a different remnant. That light moved as if it possessed a mind of its own. Very different from luminescence, to be sure. Then, a flying monster. So it would seem. Where was the light headed? Towards Dilmore. Fine. You four take Rush and head to Dilmore immediately. It seems we're up against a flying remnant. No way! That's... that's impossible! The Academy's research on newly discovered remnants may be ongoing, but they have never announced a remnant with the power of flight. No. It must be a remnant. No other possibility makes sense. Now we're up against a group that has its hands on an unknown remnant. Choose your battles with discretion. Retrieving Arena is top priority. Yes, yes my, my lord. lord. Don't sweat it, Dave. We're the good guys. We'll definitely get Arena back. So again, what I like Consider to do... Consider well the strength of the entire party. Observe my stats out. carefully yeah. before making Great a choice. I want anybody else using herbs. I am Emma Honeywell. I like to keep blocked for in power grip, but you can put him in one hand if you like. Huh? There we go. That's that done. Go on to Dilmore, where Rush will learn to time shift. telling you to press R1 to time shift, which is 
very good for linking multiple enemies at once if you're looking to gain higher rewards. But again, we'll be avoiding as many enemies as possible. Some nice bit of gold and some healing herbs. We are also hoping to get some components here. If we don't get them, it doesn't matter. I shall come back in my own time when I'm not recording and try and get them then. And what we are after from these Ghana, we are looking for six beastmen talents for the guild task which comes available much later on, the Mermaid's Malice. We're also looking for Beastman Bone. We need four of them. That's a guild task on its own. So let's see if we can get them. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This is where time shift let's do this. comes in handy. Require assistance. with keeping casualties to a minimum, but I wanted to fight more. So we wanted Beastman Talons, we wanted six of them. We've only got three. We get any here. Beastman Bone, we wanted four of them. We've only got two. Okay. I shall come back and get them myself. Unless... What I like to do... I want these me tell them that keep at the top. And I want these me tell them. There we go. I'll just have a look. There are some more Yana down here. So we'll see if we can get what we need from these. Let's do this! Not a bad accessory at this early start. Let's see what we've got here. Beastman Bone. To the way we go. We've got the Beastman Bone. And we have the Beastman Talon. Which is what we needed. Beastman Bone times four. Beastman Talon times six. And the Mantico Husk is also. We've got, we needed the two and we've got the three. So we so, let's move on. In this next path, just up here, we are looking to get plantar fluid 
times two, which is a gill task, and it's own right. And we want a triumph fragment times two for another gill task, the death mask, which if you remember, we also need that. We can also get some vial wizard scales in reveal the castle, which we'll be getting later on. So it doesn't matter if we don't get them here, because we will be fighting a rare later on, which will give us both. But if we can get them here, it would be excellent. So let's see if we do. This was once a prosperous town. It was centered around the remnant of peace, the rubber soul. Was there a war? No. The one the remnant was bound to passed away. The world is filled with countless remnants. No two look alike or share the same power. However, they all have one thing in common. And that is? When a remnant is not bound to a soul, it calls forth disastrous misfortune. This calamity is known as the Collapse. Shh! Hide yourselves! I see them. Two men. And a dark-haired little girl. <laughs> What did you do to her? This must be our cue. Another collapse. So, just a, a quick tip about this battle. You set these up. Right. The question mark that enemy there has an attack called natural gas, which can, at this early part of the game, wipe your entire party out. To avoid that, you have to attack it within three turns. So basically, you take your first turn and then send one of your unions to attack it. That way you avoid its natural gas attack. Go in to that one. Take care of yourself. Fight them till the end.
I must grow stronger. Well, we've got one triumph fragment. We wanted two. We've got the plant eye fluid. So we're missing one triumph fragment. But we can get that somewhere else, that's not a problem. It was as you said, Lord David. The flying creature is unquestionably a remnant. Confirm this with the Academy. Yes, my lord. Who could be behind all this? We do not know enough at this point. Verily, this situation is more complex than we'd imagined. Yes. We should postpone any course of action until we know more. What about Arena? Should I just keep my fingers crossed? We are not dealing with an ordinary foe. A well-researched plan is essential. Dave, come on! Toggle is correct. <laughs> we are dealing with forces that control a remnant not even the Academy knows about. Jumping to conclusions will only place Arthlam in danger. You must understand my position, Rush. Where are you going? To find Arena, obviously. You know how the people of Athlam are the most important things in your life? Well, Arena's the most important thing in mine. Well, thanks for the help along the way. I'll go it alone from here. Lord David. We still know nothing about his talisman. Perhaps we should have stopped him. Perhaps. I am aware that we need more power, as the Gaybog and Valeria heart won't suffice. The future of Athlam is at stake here. Feeling better? You're a picky eater, huh? Sorry, the menu's not fit for a princess like you. Hey. Rush. Rush is dead. No, I'm not. Stop mourning the dead and eat your meal. You are vital to him. You should be honored. Sick. 
She's just a kid. I am merely following the Lord's orders, as you should follow mine. Fine. Then give me some real orders. I'm sick of being a damn babysitter. As you wish. Let us go forth to the next remnant. And that seems like a perfect opportunity to end on. So, we progressed the story. We got some components we need for guild tasks to become available later on in the game. So it's been a very successful um, video. In the next video, when we come back, we will be doing a couple of side quests and completing some more guild tasks, as well as recruiting members to the team. So I hope you will join me for that. And may I just say thank you very much for watching. It is appreciated. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking it. Leave a comment, any questions about the game or what I'm doing within the game. I'll do my very best to answer it. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.